The following demonstration gives step-by-step -step instructions for installation of a Rondo steel stud drywall system. In this example, the installer is using Rondo 64mm stud and track sections with nogging track. Step 1. Select the correct stud and track sections for your wall system. Track sections should match the size and gauge of the studs being used. Step 2. Set out the floor track location in accordance with the floor plan. Ensure that all walls are the correct length, in the correct position, and square to each other. The floor track position should then be mirrored to the ceiling using a laser or spirit level. Step 3. Secure the top and bottom tracks into position using appropriate fasteners at a maximum of 600mm centers. The first fixing should be no more than 100mm from the start and finish of each track section or either side of any opening. Step 4. Rondo steel studs can be friction fit into the track section using a rotating action. Surface holes must be aligned and ideally studs should be orientated in the same direction ensuring a flush building board finish. When using standard wall tracks, the stud length needs to be 6 to 10 mm shorter than the floor to ceiling height. This allows for ease of installation and minor building movement. When using deflection head tracks, the stud length should be cut 20 mm shorter than the overall wall height to allow for greater deflection. Stud spacing is governed by a number of factors. However, maximum stud spacing should be no more than 600 mm centers. Step 5. Determine the nogging requirements for your wall using the Rondo Technical Manual. The use of noggings is governed by the wall height, lining configuration and whether the wall is lined on one or both sides. If nogging tracks are required for your wall, these should be positioned on the floor track, legs facing down before installation of the steel studs. Place the studs through the pre-punched nogging track holes and into the floor and ceiling tracks. Raise the nogging track and fasten to the stud sections. Step 6. The lining sheet can now be secured to the wall framing. Ensure an appropriate gap is left at the top and bottom of the board. When lining a wall both sides, ensure the board joints are staggered on each side and always install the lining board to the open side of the stud first to make sure that joints are not misaligned in vertical fixing applications. Once the boards are flush, they can be finished as required. For continuous walls, Rondo recommends that control joints be installed according to the board manufacturer's recommendations. The Rondo steel stud framing system should only be installed by a professional tradesperson. For more information, please refer to the Rondo website at www.rondo.com.au or contact a Rondo technical representative.